Hello, everyone, and welcome back. Welcome to Natus Let's Play of Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> Welcome to hmm. welcome to another epi episode nine hundred and eighty nine to Skyrim, everybody. I wonder if I actually Jesus. went back through these videos and I started writing an actual book of our misadventures. How that would turn out? Like just sell the novel of the story of Arin and them, like. Yeah. Well, there would probably be a near uproar from the fact that the two main characters died in the first <laughs> book. <laughs> Yeah, we could call that the prologue. Prologue. The evil mask is a lot harder to deal with than normally thought. Yes. Um. <laughs> but we don't really have a wreckage of an old boat for the entire new party. We kind <clears throat> of just abandoned our original boat for this airship. I mean, I'm yeah. sure the boat is somehow on the airship. Somewhere. It's either that or the airship was the old boat. When the wish occurred, it just transformed the ship. That would be pretty interesting, like Cinderella or some shit. Yeah. Um, so, uh... So we're off to I, a temple. Off to adventure! What? I know <clears throat> this music. This is the music I had as my uh, outro <laughs> for a long time for my original for my Naysaber channel. It's Adventure yes. March. <laughs> adventure meme. Right. Yes, that one. <laughs> did that, I did that to trigger you. All right, um, <laughs> let's go. So I imagine you're flying your boat to their th place that is there, or at least feasibly close to the area. Okay. Yes. Okay. To nice. that there temple there. Are you bringing anybody? I'm bringing Bubbles. Okay. The sister yep. duo. Speaking of, let me open her sheet. Okay. Uh, Should we bring uh, anyone? Because we only have well, three people. Every time I've used Robin, it's not turned out well, so... Because you don't know how <gasps> rangers a work. puppy! Puppy, puppy, puppy. Hi, puppy. Oh, dude, that might be a trap. <laughs> Pets dog. He's an upper. Uh, okay, so Bubbles... Bubbles joins the party like, oh my god, Aaron. If anyone else was to join, it would probably be um, Shadowless, but I don't know if he'd want to join after the last few um, oh, adventures Christ. he joined. We on. can give Shadowless a break. Why not bring Julibri? We haven't had her around in a while. Yeah, that's true. Julibri hasn't joined us. Sure, why not? Let's bring Julibri along if she wants to. Does she want to, Gate? Sure, she's been stuffed up in a boat this whole fucking time. All right. I've got nothing but reading books. How am I supposed to have? How am I supposed to enjoy myself if all I'm doing is reading books and not burning people? So are you going to be playing Julibri this time, I, Tim? Nah, I'm just being. Nah, I'm just. Uh, uh, I'm just being silly. Sorry. <laughs> perfectly all right i'm just wondering if i'm playing julibri or you're playing julibri i'd prefer if you played julibri if that's okay 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 so yeah this is this random pug is just uh licking your hand and uh just running around your feet like get, getting on its hind legs and patting at you huh oh, he's just playing with this doggy friend though oh, a little weird that there's a a little weird. There's a little dog out here. It's a friend. Well, from my experience, if it's yes, thank you for voicing the dog, Stella. It's <laughs> <laughs> very helpful, Stella. Thank you. If it's not a, is there a collar on the dog? Um. Yes. All right. Well, from what I see, there's a collar there, and that normally means it's owned by someone. Probably who's ever in there. And from what I remember you telling us, it's a Naga, right? I mean, so is this a Naga dog? The, the dog is probably the Naga's, but it's not a Naga dog. True. 
It's not a snake on it. Notice, he'd fucking notice if it was a Naga dog. It'd just be like this <laughs> huge snake with a dog face at the end of it. Aaron gives the dog a treat before checking the door. Just happily eats it. Um, so the door looks pretty doorishly. He's got a whole doorknob on it, and um, yeah, are you like Aaron this? reaches for the door handle, and Bubbles just slaps her hand. No, <laughs> Jacob realizes something. Here. Oh crap! Hang on. Uh, <clears throat> and I just remembered something as well. I had an extra long sword. <laughs> Fucking incredible, Jay. You had two long sword? Okay. No, no. Gay, didn't you hear I him? made he one earlier. He has an extra long sword. Oh. No. <laughs> okay. Just stop talking about the size of my long sword. Anyway. Okay, what do you mean you have another long? long. Um, so did you buy one at a store or like. I made you... one, remember? At the very yeah. first session. Yeah. Oh, I remember oh, that. Oh, yeah. I okay, was going to yeah. sell it, but then I'm like, wait, I didn't sell this. Okay, so the you ha you are now wielding the long sword. You forgot the sell sword. <laughs> yeah, he's like, huh, I forgot I had this. Well, it's pretty good. <laughs> Weren't you going to sell that? I mean, I was, but I guess I won't now. Maybe you could just call it the forgot the sell sword. <laughs> no. The forgotten blade. Oh, that's yeah, that sucks. works too. It sounds a lot more epic. <laughs> I the mean, Forgotten Blade. I guess. I'm going to check the door now. Okay. Uh, let me investigate. Ah, investigation, you say. All right, Fathom. Do your investiga investigation there. <laughs> Not noticing anything, I'm assuming. Yeah, this, this is just a normal door. Well, everything seems to be in place. What are uh, hello stab happy person want to double check my work? You know, normally I would, but I have full confidence in your abilities. Great. So Jacob leans over to Julie Bree. I think she's being sarcastic. I'm gonna try <laughs> to open the door. Is okay. It locked? You hear a loud click. As uh, a 15 foot cone just sprays outward with fire. <laughs> so, is this the reaction? Christ. Do, do we get a reaction to this? You, you get to roll a dexterity save. Uh, <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> just good force. <laughs> So, Aaron dive oh, oh, tackles oh. the puppy out of the way. <laughs> wait, wait a second. So, Jul so we add four because of Jacob. Our Jacob here. Okay, so that's a twenty-six. So that Jesus. So Jewel Bree got a fourteen. Mm -hmm. And uh, let me just double check. Jacob this. got a no. Jacob's is already in there. Anyway, Aaron like dramatic dives to save the puppy, even though it's not in range. <laughs> <laughs> uh, like, oh 17. crap! <laughs> okay. He he instinctively goes to hide behind a shield and then realizes he doesn't have one. Oh no! <laughs> Aha! I'll counter this flame with my. Oh shit! <laughs> so fourteen okay. and seventeen. All right. Um. All right. So it's going to work just like the whole half damage if you've uh, rolled high enough. Uh. So. That's only Fathom. Wait, hold on. No, Aaron got 22. All right, hold on. I got to count in Jacob's thing. All right, so all of you are taking half of... Well, well Fathom, Fathom and Jacob already have Jacob's thing already countered. Oh. So... I took the full 18 then? Yes. If you, if you already have the... Hmm? Nine damage. So, okay. So if we're doing half... For uh, Julebree wasn't didn't have the plus four, so she's at fourteen. Fathom's at seventeen. Jacob's at twelve, and Aaron's at twenty six. Wait, did anyone even roll Julebree's? I did. The first Fathom roll it says it's oh, I see Julebree. Okay. So yeah, hers is fourteen. So 
does 14 give half damage to her? Uh, or is she yes. Taking the, okay, good. So it's just, just t- Jacob taking full damage. Because she has 30 health in all. <laughs> Holy shit. And it's about at this point as well that Jacob just, uh, uh, for comedic purposes, he goes for the shield. He's like, oh, crap! And gets knocked back a ways. <laughs> As he just gets sprayed by a uh, by fire, and the door opens up, uh, laying on his back. <laughs> <clears throat> wow, that was um a one spicy door trap. Bubbles, <laughs> can you check for traps from from now on? <laughs> Bubbles is just laughing. <laughs> standing right next to it, not kidding. <laughs> <laughs> like I literally was like, you know, I could do the thing where it's we roll to, until someone succeeds, or I could not do that. <laughs> yeah, I, I was fine with it either way. <laughs> Ow! Yeah. You know, just kind of reaches up and like, uh, and like pats his head, uh, forehead a little bit to put out the fire, put out some fire. Ow! Ow! Uh, I. I... <clears throat> Oh, that really was painful. Julie, are you, uh, you okay? A little singed. Here. He rubs his hands together and... Ter- uh, uh. Hey, can you can you show Jacob's health? Um, and but, Fathom's uh, health and Bubbles' health. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. I thought it was already showing. Oh, and Julie's health, I'm guessing. Okay. I can see Julia Breeze, but you know. Oh well, you have control of her. That's true. Uh, Arns is already showing. Yep. At least for me. What? What's uh, uh, Bubbles' uh, max health? Uh, it's a twenty-one. Oh, okay. She She's is a uh... rogue. <laughs> well, so that and her con is pretty low. I was, yes. about to, Jacob, a turn. I was about to say that rogues actually have a pretty decent health pool. Jacob turns to Julibri and is uh, uh, um goes and uh, you know <clears throat> that. Care wounds. Ooh, nice. Plus six. Thank you, Jacob. Puts no a problem. Hand on his uh, shoulder. No problem. Uh, Aaron, you need anything? I'm good. Dust self off like Pat's little fire on head out. Pat's the Feather. dog. <laughs> All right, Feather, why are you? Looks over him. You are significantly less on fire than I ex- would have expected. I'm just covered in soot. I deal with this all the time. It's fine. I'm good. Okay. All right, let's see here. Gotta pay my attention to the doors. Magic traps are horrible. I poke my head through. And it immediately fall. No, I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> yeah, that'd be a pretty fucking evil thing. Uh, it, you see, uh, it's a, a nice uh, tiled finish with some stone walls. A uh, very temple-y look. All right. So this, definitely the temple. But how, how should I explain this? How about we try to go through this stealthily? How does that sound? Huh. I mean, I'm, I'm fine with that. Aaron? I mean, I guess... Why are you hesitating on that one? I don't know. Seems cheating somehow. <laughs> if we survive, it's not cheating. I mean, it's not the worst plan I've ever heard in my life. So, what are we doing? All right, I guess I'll be trying to be stealthy. All right, well, stand still. I ended up learning an awesome little ability that could help with this. So for one hour, as long as he's concentrating on this, and yes, I've used up one second level spell slot. So for one hour, we should all be able to 
have a plus 10 to our stealth checks. Holy nice. shit. Okay. I don't feel much different. Do you feel different, Aaron? Um, not really, but I mean... Just Bubbles is just like looking over herself with a grin. Any way you could teach this to me? This seems like a useful thing to be able to do. I don't know. Are you willing to go in the ways of my uh, chosen profession? Hmm. That depends. Depends on. Hmm. She just leaves it at that. <sighs> All right. I'm gonna yes, you. try to stealthily go in. Jacob's gonna follow. And Julebri will also follow, you know. I'm now picturing in the center. I'm now picturing that all all the entire party is now doing like the really exaggerated tiptoe thing into this. <laughs> Christ. Alright, so everyone roll stealth. Um I'll just add a bonus of ten on my stealth here real quick. So this is for Julebri. I'm doing the same. Huh. My armor's not rattling. Uh, let me add a 10 Didn't to... you get mithril armor? Wouldn't it not rattle in the first place? Oh, it wouldn't rattle, yeah. That's true. Mithril armor doesn't rattle. Uh, so. I'm gonna roll Aaron's first, because I want... I just... Julie let me just roll Aaron's. Roll for Aaron. That's pretty good. And then let me just roll this insanity real quick. <laughs> oh, Christ. <laughs> Here's Here Bubbles. Uh, matches Julebreeze. That's a so 10. It's just at a 10. Yeah. Plus 20. Because of the bonus 10. There is she normally one. gets a plus 10. Meanwhile, <laughs> Fathom's over here with a plus 18. Okay, this is a concentration <laughs> spell. Up to Aaron's an hour. got a plus. Holy um, shit. Yeah, Aaron's <laughs> okay. got a plus four. As long as I have the spell up, everyone mm -hmm. within 30 feet of me will stay magically hidden as gaining the plus 10 to their stealth. Which the mm -hmm. lowest roll so far is a 22. Jesus. All right. All right, so I guess we're just wandery sneaking around. Yes. Okay. Looking around the corner. Assumedly sticking in a group so that this keeps working. Yes. Okay, you look around the corner and you see this, just this big statue. Mm. There's a big statue over there. Jacob Is it like alive? I don't know, and it could come alive at any moment. You know how these dungeon things work. I mean, if we're hidden, it shouldn't notice us, right? Jacob looks over at the others. He's like, here, I have an idea. So... You're right. It, What's your idea? Okay, if it comes alive and attacks us, he uh, concentrates for a moment and, like, uh, suddenly his little... What appears to be, like, a... a um a um, shimmering shield appears on his arm where his shield normally would be. It would normally, like, you know, uh, cover his shield. previous shield. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So the shimmering shield appears on your hand. Shield. He's like, if worse comes to worse, I'll distract it. I like that plan. Okay, so we're gonna sneak by, right? Alright, let's try this. Okay, you guys sneak by. Oh, It's like, okay, Jacob, not yeah. wait, is it Jacob? As you get close with your bright shimmering shield and out of cover, it oh, turns boy. out it was a gurgle the whole time. Yep, this is why I'm doing what I'm doing. Okay. So, so the gargoyle noticed Jacob. Uh, well, <clears throat> yeah. Because he's magically in Pass Without Trace. Yes. Okay. That mean, hold on. Does it turn you invisible? 
Um, it makes just you not... masks us from detection, yes. and we can't be tracked. Mm-hmm. And we're also leaving no trace that we're walking through. Yep. But yes. we are still walking in daylight. Well, essentially. Whatever light is coming into this building, yeah. Yeah, oh, there's like windows all over the place. Like really thin ones. So, um, so yeah, uh, if you are trying to not be stealthy, then yes, you are completely noticeable. What? If you're just walking up to the dang thing and just... You're, you're going to be completely noticeable. Like, they can see you. If if you walk directly in front of something, right yes. in front of your eyes, it yes. doesn't matter how high you roll your stealth, I they're know. going to see you. I know, that's what I'm saying. Okay. We're saying the same thing. We're, we're, on, the okay. we're on the same page. We're mono a mono on this. Let's do this. Oh, okay. Jacob, what's your AC? Uh, my AC at the moment is 21. Okay, you managed to shield slap away its hand slaps. Roll initiative. All right, and okay. Let me just. Uh... Like, I'm very glad that I'm the one that took that blow. Okay. Julebree's just gonna be going on my turn, right? Or do I gotta roll for her still? Oh wait, right. That's right. Bubbles goes on my turn. Just take her thing off the initiative. Sure. Okay. Oh, oops. Gargoyles. Uh, okay. That'll be fun. Come on. Come on. Click. All right, run. Fucking. Okay. <clears throat> uh, hmm. It's a cool looking gargoyle. There's a gurgle girl. Gurgle girl. Girl. It's a friend. It has a bandage on its foot. I wonder if it's hurt. <gasps> the poor girl. Man, I love their animated series on Disney Channel. <laughs> yeah, Disney. Man, this guy's a has-been. Let's fight him. Anyway. Jesus. Okay. So Jacob is going to start his thing off by... I'm charging his laser. Okay. Yep. All right. And he's going to go ahead and sl uh, uh, and slash at Gargoyle. Okay. Because I'm assuming it. Uh, he's like, back, back you. Okay. Uh, you bring your you you fling your sword and you manage to. Clang against its stone skin. A couple chips fly off. And he also... <laughs> and, Let me grab my tablet pen instead of my actual pencil. Fuck. And he follows this up with another slash. Chip. Chip. <laughs> You're doing some chip damage. Oh, that's a regular sword. Alright. Well, it's magic right now. Oh, yeah. Okay, fair enough. Channel Divinity. Uh, okay. You have, you have you have slapped his gargagool. I'm chipping up his stone skin away. Yep. He just kind of he 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 tw twirls his blade a little bit and uh, looks up. He's like, guys, uh, yeah, this is not this. Is, uh, yep, it's not friendly. It's alive. Yeah, I can see that. Okay, Aaron. Uh, hey sis. Yeah, that thing doesn't look friendly. Yeah, looks like swords won't do much to it either. Well, I mean, I gave you that moon sword, right? I suppose so. So, but well, <coughs> at the same time, I can't really sneak behind it. Actually, you might be able to. Really? Do tell. So, with a sort of as silently as she can still strum the guitar thing, strumming. Silent guitar strums, okay. Like, just sort of playing softly. Mm -hmm. Aaron casts this on her sister. 
Oh god. Holy fuck. <laughs> and so Aaron's sister is now the stealth dude. Mm -hmm. And goes just basically like sneaks behind the thing. Okay. Uh, let me just double check on how sneak attack works. Uh, well, I mean, you sneak could probably attack just attack it from where it was. <laughs> well, if you get advantage, sneak attack activates. Yeah. You can deal an extra 1d6 to one creature you hit with an attack. If you have advantage on the attack roll, the attack must use a finesse or ranged weapon. Of course, the sneak attack damage does increase as you level. Yeah. How much does it increase as you level up? I think I've, I've gotten it written down somewhere on her sheet, uh, at least in the class actions. Uh, class... Unless I missed it. It's, I think it's under her weapons for sneak attack dagger. Okay. Snack attack. Yeah, so that's 3d6 that it increases by? Goodness, I, I think so. Uh, At the same time, I don't think she can use it with the moon touch sword because that's not a finesse weapon. Yeah, she, she wouldn't be able to sneak attack with that. Mm hmm. Still. Hmm. What she's gonna do is she's going to like, while she has the chance to test this while she's invisible, is attempt to stab, do a stab of it with her dagger. You know, right. see, see if it if it really is just that normal weapons don't work on it, or if it's just that Jacob can't swing properly. <laughs> <laughs> you know? So she is going to launch herself a sneak attack with some dank advantage. Can okay. you actually believe she literally rolled the same goddamn result? Yes, I can. Three times. Uh, okay, so that hits. Um, She's no longer invisibles. Goodness. Um, you notice the dagger goes in half as, it mu half as much as it normally would. All right. So it sort of resists, but it's not completely immune. Mm. Right, so is that All it right. for Bubbles and Aran, or...? Bubbles is going to use herself a bonus action mm -hmm. to attempt to hide. Like, which I know sounds weird, but basically just, like, binging on the fact that it is both made of stone and also very big. Sort okay. of hide beneath its wing, behind, like in such a place behind it that she could feasibly move to not be seen. Okay. Does so like this underneath it? I guess. Yeah. Some I'm gonna say this is gonna be a disadvantage because you're using the creature itself as cover. Okay. Does this get bonus from Fathom's stupidity? If you're still concentrating on the spell, yes. Uh, until my next turn. And depending on if I use another spell. Depending on if you use another spell. concentration spell. Okay, so this is a disadvantage. Yes. Let's see how well she does. Fucking incredible. Fucking Jesus, holy... Okay. Goddamn ninja fish here. Ninja fish! Ninja fish. Alright. Alright, uh, Fathom. Okay! Um, so I have to ask... Mm -hmm. This is a hard corner, so it's not five feet, or like, would it be able to see whatever's on here? Um, probably not. If uh, unless you're like peeking over for some inexplicable reason. Well, there, there's a explicable reason why I'd be pick, uh, peeking over with Julebri. Like it, it, it'd have like clear sight over here, but it'd be difficult to see over here, and then would count as cover. Okay. Well, here's the thing. If I can't use this, I'd have her here. Mm hmm Because I'm using this. Oh, shit. Her wizard thing. Yes. You choose, choose one creature you can see within five feet of you, target. Won't be charmed by you until the end of the Wh next turn. Wizard okay. spell saving throw. Okay, okay. Interesting. 
So could I do that from around this corner? Uh, if you like peek your head over, yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Okay. Oh my god. Okay, so it's entrenched now. <laughs> All right, boys and girls, we got the this beautiful creature under wrap and key. So in subsequent turns, it can use your reduction to make things. Yes, as long as I stay within five feet of it. Oh my god. I have a uh, I have a quick question, by the way. Oh shit! And it says nothing about it ending if it's attacked. <laughs> shit! <laughs> shit! Shit! Yeah, and the charmed creature's speed drops to zero. Oh my fucking god! And the creature is incapacitated and visibly dazed. So. Are we done? No, wait, it does end if the creature takes damage. If, the, yeah, if However, the, creature... the effect ends if you move more than five feet away from the creature, if the creature can neither see nor hear you, or if the creature takes damage. Yeah. All right, <laughs> boys and girls. Mm -hmm. Are we done playing with the monster? Oh, I see what you're going to do. <laughs> it doesn't end as long as I stay with it. So I mean, I I will we're stay. Playing. I will stay with this creature. If you, because I don't feel like I'd be able to help you guys pass this point. Quite honestly, are you sure? If I move too far away from him, he'll give chase. Or if he gets attacked, so uh, I'm assuming it's a he. It's a gargoyle. Please don't check. <laughs> Do you want to check? Jillibree checks. She's adventurous. Oh. Let me roll. <laughs> it's a gargoyle. She. My bad. So if she gets attacked again, then uh, my ability is not going to be doing much use to for you guys. Blink, blink. Okay, uh, I guess that's a thing. Sure, if that's what you're going to do, be doing, combat's already over. <laughs> Sacrifice an ally so they just stare at it whilst you're in the dungeon the whole time. Uh, I mean, if that's really what you want to do, then I won't stop you, but are you sure you don't want to check out the rest of the place with us? Oh, I'd love nothing more than to do that. But at the same time, I feel like you guys need to hold up your energy for facing it off against the the Naga. And I don't feel like I'd be much help. And quite honestly, you're basically me gonna be just sitting here staring at a gargoyle. Oh, I get to pet it. <laughs> My fucking god. <laughs> Jacob just kind of uh Jacob kind of like um the 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 light dissipates off of his sword and he sheathes it and he's like, "Well, I guess if that's what you want to do, uh I I guess I'll take point again." Well, you know what? What if she could tame it? Gate. <laughs> Squeeze back. Tame a cargo. Here, here's the thing. The, okay. the biggest problem with Jewelry at the moment... Mm -hmm. uh, well, I don't know about Bubbles, I should say. Um, but her level is four and a wizard. Mm -hmm. Yes. Not only is she weak in terms of the party, being that we're all, like, level eight and, some, and stuff, mm -hmm. she's super duper squishy. Bubbles has 21 HP and is level 5, and I'm still bringing her along. <laughs> you pansy, you coward, you actual... At least you actual she has up. sneak attack. Oh, Christ. Yeah, but how many times is sneak attack realistically going to work? Fair point. <laughs> so, I mean, it's like... 
I don't I don't really know if I if I should do anything more with jewelry in this. Well, if, I don't yeah, know. if that's what you're deciding, that's what is what happens. You know what? Whole party, vote for it. Sure. Go ahead. I Go ahead, Lee. I, I don't care. I'd honestly recommend going ahead and leaving her here because then we can. I just say as a compromise, leave her here, but she gets all the XP from the gargoyle. Oh. Okay. Sure. Then again, I always find it. And then again, I always find the concept of XP splitting to be a little bit silly, but okay. I mean, XP is generally or encounters are generally calculated with how many party members are at, with us at any given time. So True. Yeah. Interesting. What was right. your thought on the matter, Niv? I mean, I don't it just makes me feel generally uneasy to leave her all by herself here. Agreed, actually. I feel like she'd True. be safer if she's stuck with the party, because like, if she's busy staring at this gargoyle and someone sneaks around from behind... Yeah, that's always a possibility, too. So... I guess we could continue to still fight the, the gargoyle. Sure. Why not? I'm or we could try and tame the gargoyle. Make friendo. Make friendo of gargoyle. Okay. Uh, so its turn obviously passes with no... Because uh, it can't do anything. Uh, Jacob. <laughs> so we're trying to tame We're stopped the at the entrance by a gargoyle. <laughs> Just one. Because <laughs> so, we're trying to decide if we should be nice or not. <laughs> Basically. I would, personally, Niv makes a good point, I would say. Yeah, let's tame it. Yeah. Let's fucking tame this thing while it's hypnotized. Oh my god. Alright, let's try to befriend the gargoyle. How do we do that? <laughs> How do you do that? How are you going to do this? Please tell me. <laughs> Well, it's already hypnotized by uh, Julibri. Um Maybe giving nice thoughts? I, I don't know. How, how do we befriend Gargoyle? Well, I mean, I can give it a shot. By all means, give it a shot. Because I feel the p best people to do so are with high charisma. Okay, um... Well, I mean... What do I know about gargoyles, if I may ask? What can I know about gargoyles? Roll me Arcana. Oh boy. <laughs> I'm sorry, Kate. No, this is this is an interesting place to because I didn't expect this to ever happen. <laughs> but here we are. <laughs> and the DC is pretty low for a wisdom save. Okay, um, you know they're uh, usually uh, they're, they are of the elemental variety. They um, if they if they remain completely motionless, they can basically just appear to be a statue and just indistinguishable as such. But like, are they? Are, is it like just a predator then, or it's just kind of just kind of wants to eat people? It's not the the smartest. Um, thing in the space, but it is, like, just vaguely smart enough to understand stuff. Let's see here. Like, to be convinced to guard a specific temple. Alright, so Jacob's gonna go up, and he's gonna try and call and, like, talk to the beastie. Okay. And... Uh -huh. I'm going to try and use animal handling on this. You're going to try to use animal handling on the gargoyle. This is the closest thing we have, isn't it? Other than that, would it be persuasion or go. animal handling? <laughs> okay, if you're trying to talk to it, it's persuasion. Um, All right. Uh, what would you be doing with animal handling? Are you going to pet the gargoyle? No, I'm Whoa. just going to. I'm just going to talk to it. It's like Jacob's like, hello. Mr. Gargoyle, 
We're not a harmful. Oh my god! A <laughs> 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 natural twenty. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so somehow, through a combination of being hypnotized and just being really convincingly convinced. <laughs> and it here's... seems pretty non-hostile at the moment. Can we convince it to guard the airship so it can see lots of sights but also still be guarding something? That's exactly what I was thinking for Julie <laughs> Essentially an attack what? gargoyle. So that's why, okay, so that's what you're going to convince it to do. Yeah. <laughs> Jacob but you get Paul. to see a whole bunch of stuff on the airship, which is just outside. And also, and also, you can, and and it's a lot better than this d dank and dusty old cave. And also, temple, sorry about but... temple. I'm sorry. It's a lot, but much better than this temple. You get to see a lot of stuff, and then like you get to guard stuff, and you like get to have great food, even. And we got yeah, a great and you chef. And you're gonna look great, you know. Okay. <laughs> I, I, I don't even know why I'm that upset about this, but I am. <laughs> I guess we now have a pet gargoyle. Jacob's like, Julibri has a pet gargoyle. Julibri has an animal companion that, despite being she a, has a wizard, familiar. <laughs> she has her familiar now. <laughs> A fucking gargoyle! Can it, can it please? Can it? <laughs> Jacob's like, by the way, sorry for hitting you. Okay, so notice, for? even in the monster manual, it says, Cruel servants. Gargoyles are easily impressed by the cunning of an intelligent master. They enjoy simple tasks such as guarding the master's home, torturing and killing interlopers. <laughs> oh. Okay, sure, this fits. <laughs> It's like, oh, hey, yeah, that sounds fucking badass. I'm gonna do that. <laughs> okay, neat. This, like, is, sure. this is a thing that we have apparently <laughs> done. He's <laughs> gonna take the gargoyle home. <laughs> sure. <laughs> and it's even funnier because Jacob's like, okay, gargoyle, meet Julibri. Julibri, meet gargoyle. <laughs> oh, we're gonna be best of friends. Oh my god. <laughs> Congratulations. You've recruited a gargoyle. <laughs> Hang on, I need to go to Cess for lunch. Jacob, Jacob just kind of leans over to Bubbles and goes all like, so, uh, how was that? Was that good teamwork? Was that, was that good? <laughs> did I do good? Yes, you did great, Jacob. What hey. are you, a dog? But no, I just really value her opinion is all. She's smart. <laughs> Hold on, let me figure out. Okay, I gotta put a little trophy over there for to indicate yes, she <laughs> fucking recruited a gargoyle. <laughs> oh, I good, can't. I don't have to control two characters. <laughs> sure, you just bring her and Julibri just go to the fucking ship, I guess. Fuck. Julibri trying to find a place to put the shit, the gargoyle's like, ah, Obviously, it'll be in the Helms place. Christ. So uh, I'll go. I'll go take point again. Uh, excuse me, Bull. <laughs> well, that just happened. Yeah. Welcome to the party. <laughs> Things I didn't expect to happen, but did anyway. <laughs> I'm not. Uh, you know what? This 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 is interesting. Sure. I honestly didn't expect it to happen either. Just she's, she's got a gargoyle with her that you can bring every time you recruit her. Yes. Okay. Uh, so that's the end of combat, I guess. <laughs> Just pretend that statue isn't there. <laughs> yeah. All right. I guess we get to keep going now. <laughs> Here, let me help you there. So, uh... <laughs> Yeah. I... Well, okay. <laughs> What's going on up here? Okay, so you're looking around the corner, I guess? Yep. Okay. Sweet. More hallways. 
Uh, Jacob's gonna go ahead and check uh, and like and like squint and look around for everything with his eyes. Yeah, gonna, uh, since I got the stealth thing, Jacob's uh, uh, J- Jacob's looks over is like uh, Jacob squints, looks around the corner, turns back towards everyone else. He's like, I think it's fine, but it's really dark. So right, let's check. So oh, I, stand, no. I, I basically stand in the middle here and look left and right. Okay. So I got to roll uh, perception, or do yes. I see something? Uh, well, with your passive perception, you don't see anything. Well, I'm actively looking, so. Okay, roll it. Wow, a single to a one. I rolled a one. Well, uh, suddenly a piece of paper slaps you right in the face. So, total of an eight. Better than Jacob. Fine-ass parchment. <laughs> Where'd this come from? Why, why do I feel like that, that, that's been a lot of places? People like drawing butts, I guess. This is the first callback I've ever made to it. Anyway. <clears throat> okay, uh, so I guess you were looking around the corner then? Um, I'm staying as close to the party as possible, so if they want to join me. Mm-hmm. It's like, proceeds to uh, uh, move around this way, yep. Okay. Bubbles yep. looking around this corner. Oh. Huh, there's some armor suits over there. Considering the trend, I'm guessing they'll come to life. Do they have shields? Uh... Do they Kay. have shields? Do, yeah, do they have shields? Uh, check, actually. I uh, actually, yes. Okay. I actually imagine the the four of them basically stacked on top of each other, looking around the corner, all 90s, or cartoon style. <laughs> oh my god. Like Scooby-Doo, yes. sort of... Like Scooby Doo. Okay. Uh, so yeah, there's a couple suits of armor. They got some shields. Got some swords. I want to check what's on the other side. Uh, peek. Okay. Uh, there's a couple suits of armor. They got some shields. They got some swords. Huh. There's suits of armor on both sides. So if we try to go in there, we'll be surrounded. Great. I don't know. There might be a wall, but I can't really peek around to check. Jacob's like, well, I mean, if, if we if we activate the suits of armor while we're say right here, he points this way, then we can probably then we can maybe bottleneck him a bit. Hold on, let me see if I can get a good view of around that corner. Um, hey, hey, Aaron, can you come over here a little bit? Oh, uh, sure. The range can uh, only go so far for you to be uh, within the thing. So let's see. If I if I go here, yeah, you're still within it. Mm-hmm. You'd be fine up to there. And I go up to there, still trying to hide. I'm gonna see if I can see stuff over here. Okay. Polygon reveal. Oh wait, so hold on. Given your current position, that's not exactly how it should be revealed. Come on. Yeah. Dwim. Okay. All so- right. So like, there's a glorious looking carpet on the ground, mm-hmm. it's finely knit, there's some pillars, and there's a door. Alright, so, there's a door over there, there's a carpet, no wall in between, so we'll be surrounded. I can't tell if there's anything else that's against the wall, but there's a door. Could be trapped. Like, maybe there's like a pressure plate, or, I don't know, like a trip wire or something? Can I roll perception from this far away to see if there's a pressure plate or a trip wire? Sure. Alright. Wow, I really am <clears throat> not rolling above a 10. Okay, so you, just, you, man- you somehow managed to f- notice this fine line of string uh, right where you're right next to your foot. So you haven't You've even nearly gone. You've even nearly hit into it, 
and it, it seems to go around the wall a bit, like, and then you see this bell. Like, the minute you m- move your foot on the string, it'll ring a bell. Well, good news is there isn't much of a trap. Bad news is it's right here. Right to that, right where? He's pointing, like, right at his feet. You stepped on it, didn't you? No, I didn't step on it. Uh, that's part oh. of the good news. See, it's right right here. The okay. bad news is... That it's a bell. It could be alerting something. It could activate these things. Could or be... it's a sound thing, and by speaking, we've activated it. No, it'd have to ring. You trip it with this wire. It so all we gotta do is step... <laughs> All we gotta do is step over the wire, or maybe, I don't know, like, cut it or something? Can I... I'm gonna attempt to disable it. Would, And I'm assuming Bubbles is not gonna wanna try to help. Bubbles is gonna sloop over to the other side and see if there's another bell trap over here. Alright, well, if she does okay. that, she's no longer under my magical protection. I mean, she's good. plenty sneaky on her own. So. Oh, yeah, yeah. There's, there's another one over there. Okay, she's going to try to disable this one. Okay. Um, so we're, like, going to cut it or something? However disabling a device is supposed to be. Okay. So, yeah, you, you, you cut the wire, and it seemed to be more of a trap that, like, generated from the pressure of your foot uh, knocking into it. So by cutting it, there's no pressure to be made, unless you inexplicably pull the wire. Okay, so there's, oh, good. There's no roll for it. Because <clears throat> he's I, been I, rolling badly, so... It's, I, I admit, this seems like a really easy thing to do, to just cut something. True. Okay. Once so. she's cut it, she goes and rejoins the party over here. Because okay. even if she is disabling it on that side, it's basically in case of we head back, accidentally trip this, and then, you know. <laughs> yep. Okay. All right, so this is all cut nice and orderly. Mm-hmm. Okay. This over there for now. So it's safe? Moment of truth. Three, two, trip. Hey. The pressure plate sinks down and you took Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> oh god, that would be hilarious. <laughs> like the bill was a red herring or something. I'm gonna you know, do that to the other party. It, it, it's a thing that can happen. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But that's like the th- third or the second or third time that I ended up rolling to check for traps, and it was right at my feet. <laughs> it's like, you've got to be kidding. Jacob just kind of frowns a little bit and looks over at the statues and says, Man, I wish I could grab one of those shields without it, you know, coming to life. Well, we don't know if it'll come to life, but don't test it! Hey, Bubbles. Yes? <laughs> um, I mean, if Bubbles or Feather Mover wants, can we check that maybe? See if we could do it? Are you maybe? trying to kill my sister? No, no, I just. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm not saying we actually do it. I'm just saying we check to see if it'll happen. <clears throat> All right, I'm going to take a check to see if there's any kind of magical component, or not magical, but mechanical component that would cause this thing to come to life if I touch it. Sure. Roll me investigation. Investigation? In- oh, right, that is a thing. Yes, investigation. Can I please roll above a ten? Never! <laughs> Get a nine! <laughs> okay. Um, you can figure that uh, there, doesn't, there doesn't appear to be any mechanism, but the, if this is some sort of animated armor, touching it is probably going to have it flail about a bit. Yeah. Probably so. not a good idea then. It's more than likely run on magic. Okay. Besides, we can always just buy a shield in town or something. Yeah, true. I just, I'm just kind of feeling a little bit silly because, and 
His little shimmering shield fades out. Oh. M meanwhile, Fathom's over here making his shield go happy face, frowny face, happy face, frowny Bubbles face. checks the bell to see what ringing it would have done. Are you actually ringing the bell? She's not ringing it. She's seeing if the bell is, like, hooked up to anything. Um. Yeah, there, there's a little, uh, what's word, word for that thing that's in there? Ringer? Oh, the, yeah. the bell thing. Yeah, there's, there's like, this, uh, little, there, there's a thing in there. So it would have made a ringing sound, like a ding. But, like, she's checking to see if the ding itself would have caused anything. Oh, um... Like, if the act of making a noise because of this bell would have caused something to happen. Do I need to roll for something? Yeah, roll me and inv investigate. Okay, Bubbles rolls investigation. Okay. So, uh, you're looking around, see if anything would be triggered by the the sound. Um, mm -hmm. One would assume this would wake up the armor. Um, at at the same time, uh, it, the the string seems to extend um, beyond the bell and through this thin little hole in the rock. So the string would not only activate the bell, but something further down into the the temple itself. Bubbles crouches down and sort of picks up the carpet to see if there's anything underneath it. Okay. So you pick up the carpet and it suddenly wraps around you. As this is... Why am I not surprised? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Okay, NPC, you are now. <laughs> Hold on, let me... Something. What's uh, Bubbles AC? Bubbles has an AC of uh, fucking fourteen. This hit. This okay. So it suddenly just wraps around you, and uh, you're currently being smothered by uh, this 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 thing. Oh, Does snap. everything in this temple come to life? Maybe. Hang in there, Bubbles. We'll get you out. I got you covered. I'm gonna cut you out of there. Okay. You just hear a muffled, don't cut me while you're doing that. <laughs> I'll try. <laughs> do not do that. Okay. Uh, oh, hey, there's bludgeoning damage that goes with it. So give me a second. Jacob, uh... uh... Mm. Oh, so high. Six bludgeoning damage. All right. <clears throat> Let me just, uh... I got a magic. Minus six. Sword. There we go. I've got dispel magic. <laughs> okay, so roll initiative for carpet. <laughs> carpet initiative. Carpet initiative. <laughs> well, it's a good thing she checked it before we like all stood on the carpet. Otherwise, this could have been a lot worse. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, goodness. <laughs> you are fighting a carpet right now. I mean, I think I've figured out the theme of this dungeon, but... <laughs> like... Yeah, same. <laughs> Everything's a trap. Everything's alive. We got okay. the statues that are alive, we got the carpet that's alive, we have feasibly the armor that's alive. We have the temple that's possibly alive. We have the dog that's alive. <laughs> we have the players that are alive, currently. Uh, Jacob. He's working on it. So. What's his bonus? I have a plus four. So do I. Hmm. I'm just a better person than you, so. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> if you really want to be picking up about turns, then I roll don't a care turn. that much. Okay, go ahead, Jacob. I'm being silly. <laughs> anyway, um, Jacob's going to go uh, pick up his long sword, and mm -hmm. he's going to very carefully try and get an incision in the carpet to try and like get very carefully, very carefully incision on the 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 rug that is currently smothering your friend and flailing about, but carefully cut it. Trying to basically, he yeah, he's trying to get it in such a way as he might be able to free like a limb or two. 
Okay. Uh, roll it. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> so you you do make a slash against it, but the rug the rug seems to actually just go into the sword itself. Uh, so and activates its ability damage transfer. While it is grappling the creature, the rug only takes half damage to it, and the creature grappled takes the other. Luckily, you so only wait, if it's seven. a seven, how much damage is each of them taken? Three. Okay, minus three. So you poked her a little bit. Ah, oh, I'm sorry, Bubbles. Okay, I gotta think, gotta think, gotta think, gotta think. He uh, uh, he does not uh, he does not slice again. He's like, don't do it. He, we'll, we'll hit Bubbles. <laughs> think, think, Jacob. Think, think, think. What can I do? What can I do? Realizes something. Mm-hmm. Okay, buy some time, guys. Make sure it doesn't hurt her too much. And he's going to go ahead and start preparing a little thing there. But yeah, go ahead. Yep. Okay. Uh, (laughs) I have an idea, but... (laughs) So do I. So, Fathom, grinning a... a a mischievous grin, Mm -hmm. pulls out not one, but two crowbars! Okay. (laughs) All right, I'm going to try to pry you out of there. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. Uh, sure. So, you know how when a carpet's all rolled up, you got that interior portion, right? That uh, at the either end? Uh, Yes. I'm going to try to stick the crowbars in there and try to pry the the ends open. (laughs) Okay, uh, hmm... (laughs) <laughs> We're only athletics. Athletics, okay. Let's do this. <laughs> yeah. This is the silliest thing to do. I got a roll of 15 on that one. <laughs> okay, so you, you, you pull with all of your strength with these crowbars, and the, the rug just pops off. Ha! Gotcha! <laughs> You all right? Hello? Bubbles just Hello? gasping for air. <laughs> <laughs> all right, stop it now. She's free. Okay. Uh, Aaron and Bubbles. Bubbles oh. just turns to the carpet, pissed off. That's <laughs> Grabs the moon touched sword with both hands. She is oh just angers, just like this fucking thing, and attempts to does a slap of it. Oh boy. Oh boy. Uh, and normal, because nothing yes. around the mm-hmm. slap. Fuck. Okay. You make this. You, you cut off a big portion of this rug and it, it falls onto the ground motionless. Like, not not the rug itself, but the pot part that fell the off. portion. Yes. I'd feel sorry okay. for it, but it tried to kill her. She then uses her disengage action to disengage and the movement to, like, move over here. Okay. What about Arn? Arn is mad that this thing would dare try and constrict her sister. Yeah. And knowing that it's probably going to try and target someone is going to make it try and move away. Oh. Your patterns are awful. <laughs> <laughs> Christ. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm just imagining it folding a corner, just going... (gasps) (laughs) It makes a big gasping motion, but it's taking so much psychic damage, it starts unraveling. It's just a bunch of strings on the ground. (laughs) (laughs) Aaron insulted a carpet so badly 
that it died. <laughs> all right, all right, that's great and all. But, uh, Fathom has the bag of holding, right? Mm-hmm. All right, scooping all this stuff up into the bag of holding. <laughs> Are we Jacob. just keeping this? Hey, you never you... know when some magic carpet thing needs to be used for whatever magic. Oh, Jacob Christ. walks over to uh, Bubbles and goes like, here, uh, yeah, um, hand starts glowing. Where's it hurt? Uh, mostly everywhere. Have you ever been wrapped around by a carpet and just squeeze that shit hurts? Have you ever oh, been wrapped okay. around by a ball constrictor? I'm pretty sure it's the same thing. Don't he do proceeds it. to <laughs> he proceeds to put a uh, he proceeds to put a thumb on the uh, uh, on uh, toward the center of her head and uses lay on hands. Okay. And how much damage does she need? Uh, well, you I'm... can click on her since she's a controllable. Oh yeah. One pog. Uh, ba, 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 ba. I'm gonna heal her to full, so that's so that's nine, dam- nine damage. Yeah, nine damage. Goodness, she needs more health. Yeah, that's why I'm bringing her along in hopes of helping her level up. That'd be a good idea. <clears throat> All right, so you've defeated a carpet. Yay. Okay, I guess. Bubbles size. Goes over here, checks the door for traps. Roll me investigate. I should really bolster her investigation. Perhaps. Or like something. I for- I forgot. This isn't mutants and masterminds. I can't just do that. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, she check for trap. Okay, there seems to be another one of those uh, fire spray traps. Can she disarm it? Um, with a good slate of hand uh, check. All right, she's gonna try and disarm a trap. So what you find? Another one of those fire traps. Oh. You hear a loud click and it's off. Okay, I think I turned it off. Can I double check that work? Can't be too careful. Sure, roll me investigate. Are in this are in like as stealthily as she can so Fathom doesn't notice steps over here. <laughs> <laughs> investigation. Okay. Yeah, it's all good. Yeah, looks good to me. I go to open the door. Oh boy. Be there. You want to be J- there, Jacob? Yeah, I'm going to Yeah, he here. wants to be there. <laughs> no, he, he, too late. J- no, I'm kidding. <laughs> you open the door, it swings open. And I'm assuming you're looking and investigating as you open the door, right? Of course. Neat. I'm going to need you to roll a constitution saving throw because at the I end of this hallway. I believe. <laughs> ah, okay. Wow. That's there. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Fucking yes! <laughs> Holy shit! Oh, oh, God. I'm gonna close the you door. Can, you just visibly see her like, wait, what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what? Um. Yeah, there's a person with a bunch of snakes in their hair in there. Snakes are nice. I guess, but I wouldn't put it past this place that those things are living hair. I mean... So uh, everything in this place is alive, and it's trying to make us not alive in more ways than one. Yeah, pretty much. So, Fathom, Fathom, you you doing okay? Like, you you look like you got a little spooked there. Doc. Yeah. All right, I guess we got to go in. You look like you have dry eye. I got a mask. Oh. Mask guy. I got mask guy. So I'm going to shit post real quick. Okay. She motions for them to step to the side. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Like, which way does the door open? Um, it's like a, like that. Oh, fuck, what the hell? Does it open like, this way? 
Like, like, does it swing this way? Does it swing that way? That way? Inward. It swings so, inward, okay. It swings this way. Okay, so I motioned for them to stand out of the way of the door. Kind of just gently open it and then cast prestidigitation on the wall. Okay. Hello, can we be friends? Let's <laughs> befriend everything in this temple. It'd be great. Roll me, uh, roll me persuasion. Fathom? Fathom? Yes. <clears throat> Weren't you just complaining that we were going to be not friends with something and it was going to try and hunt us for the rest of our time? I'm talking about the Naga. That ain't the Naga. <laughs> Making friends, don't get me wrong. I'd rather make a friend than an enemy. Per his personality uh. traits, mind you. <laughs> well then. Just friendship your way through. I guess we're now <laughs> friends with a Medusa. <laughs> friendship is the color of lemonade. Okay. We can actually hear a knocking on the door on the other side. Arn finishes the two shaves and a haircut knock. (laughs) I don't know what that means. Kind of opens the door. Hello? Two shaves and a haircut. No, hold on. Let me check something. Hello? Hello? Hello. Hello. <clears throat> are, are we gonna be friends? I, I, I guess this is probably the weirdest reaction I've had. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're pretty weird. Okay, so I imagine it's open like this right now. It, come on, polygon reveal. Okay, there. There we go. We go. Okay. There we go. We gotta click on a specific spot. Can we come in? You might want to close your eyes, though. Okay. Oh, I am very ugly. Oh, I'm sure you look nice. Well, if you say so, I'll keep my eyes closed. I turn my mask a little bit, so I'm blind. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Aaron covers her eyes and heads in. Jacob okay. goes for uh, <laughs> Jacob goes for his helmet. Realizes his helmet isn't there, and he's like, eh. I'm <laughs> where your helmet backwards. Nice. I'm I'm holding on to the wall. <clears throat> okay, think I've got a grip on this place. Okay, I survived being petrified for this. Holy fucking <laughs> shit! <laughs> this is an interesting adventure. <laughs> I was like, "Hello, uh, Hello? sorry, I can't, I can't see." Oh, there you are. Hi, uh, you can't see you. So, well, oh, hi, there you are. I can't see you though. What? Aaron holds out her hand for a shake while he, eyes he's, still closed. He's feeling around, <laughs> and he ends up feeling her. That, that's the only way I can oh. with that. Okay. He's <laughs> just like, ah, oh, there you are. Um, hi, <laughs> nice to meet you. <laughs> yeah, I guess she, uh, she does shake your, uh, shake your hand, Aaron's like. I'm Aaron. Nice to meet you. What's your name? Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> now you need to How... give random monsters names, too. <laughs> How dare you do this to me? <laughs> well, uh, uh, hold on. Hold on. Maybe we're we at an hour good. 13. Just letting you know. Okay. Uh, let's cut off at uh, when I figure out a name. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Welcome to the party! <laughs> Hi, I'm, uh, I'm gonna name it after some kind of rock. Amethyst. That's a super pretty name. Yeah, but, um... It doesn't really fit, fit the person uh, who has it, fortunately. Why is that? Is it all the snakes? Yeah, I'm surprised you were able to see that. Holy shit. Yeah, well, you know, I've been told I've gotten out of scrapes or something. 
Uh, I'm right now facing the pillar, mind you, the corner, trying to talk. <laughs> Any Anyone who looks upon my visions turns into stone. Wow, oh. that's some s- nice self-defense material. I dodged a bullet. What's a bullet? That is. Yeah, what's a <laughs> bullet? <laughs> Tell me, Phantom. What- I dodged <laughs> an arrow there. <laughs> I, do- I dodged an arrow. <laughs> I dodged like a, a missile. Is it like, like a, a magic maybe missile? I can, yeah, maybe that's I what can a missile re- is. dispel it. It's, it's it's kind of what I am now. I don't think you can remove it. It's what you are now. You mean you weren't like that always? I actually have no fucking clue how that works. <laughs> should should we take a break here and yes, then come please. back once Gate has a backstory for a, for the Medusa we befriended? Jesus. <laughs> All right. Until next time. See you then. See. <laughs> Let me just look up the monster manual real quick. <laughs>